Alright, I'm going to go over uh, oil change on the uh, Cessna 150 real quick. First off, you want to take off the, uh, the shell, obviously. After that, it's always a good idea to come over and uh, take the dipstick out so the oil come out a little bit more freely. Um, so I've got that out right now. Come back in through here to this little piece here. You push up on it and it locks in there and the oil free falls through. I would recommend getting a three foot long rubber hose, uh, three quarter inch fitting to go over this uh, little piece right here so you're not sitting there holding it uh, and waiting for the oil to drain like I was for a while. Um, after that, all you really do is come over here, undo the uh, oil filter here, cut the safety wire and um, Take that off, drain out the oil, put the new one on. You want to um, tighten it to, I think it's 20, uh, 20 pound inches. Uh, you do for that um, with a torque wrench. Put that back on, put your six quarts of oil back in there, and you're pretty much good to go. Just make sure that you uh, pull this back down so the oil doesn't come back out. What I like to do is uh, put a little bit of the fresh oil in, let it flow through there so I know that I've got all the dirty oil out. Um, that I've got all the oil out in general really um, so other than that um, as far as getting this uh, safety wire tight um, you can slightly over tighten this and then um, twist it back down and that is going to keep your uh, safety wire that'll put tens tension on your safety wire and that will allow you to um, have a nice tight fitting for that other than that there's really nothing else to do um, when you're taking off the shell you gotta just you gotta unplug the uh, the lights uh, for the uh, landing light is all. Um, but other than that, pretty much got everything. You've got the oil filter on. You drain it through here. It's really just like a car. It's pretty simple. Um, really nothing else to it. So no need to go into a long lengthy video.